Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Today, uh, this tutorial is part one. It's uh, the big vinyl tutorial um, and it's going to cover a lot of topics. Um, how to cut, layer, um, and assemble all of your uh, big vinyl projects. Okay, so what I've done is I am came in here and I changed my mat size and I also uh, want it to be right now horizontal so I can work on it but we are going to change everything to vertical because the machine will only recognize it if it's vertical okay so let's get right into this I'm gonna come in and grab this I always wanted to make a design for my truck Okay, and I want to get rid of all of this red stuff. I don't want to see any of that. Okay, perfect. So let's start blowing this thing up here. And remember, with this um, being in scale, the mat size is a little bit different than it is um, when we take it to our machine. So I know I need to back it away a little bit so that when I get it to my machine, it's not over. Okay, so that looks good. All right. So I have this, and what I did when I was in Trace is I did the Choose an Image, and I clicked Black out. And I took this all the way up to where there was only... Let me just go ahead and do this because sometimes I go through so quick. I took this up to like 245. And you see there's no red marks in there. Okay, so it is a true blackout. And then I clicked OK. Because I don't want my cutter having to go through all that. It'll dull your cutter. However, if you want some red stuff left in there, what I recommend is you go to Path and you go to Simplify. That will decrease the amount of nodes that you have, which also saves your blade life okay so go through and start decreasing them okay if you do this a lot though make sure that you go back in and you click on your image because sometimes you can be going about doing this and it doesn't show up but you will really significantly distort your image okay so now I have my dragonfly and I want to add some uh, letters to that however I don't want to add it on this plane when I save my file but right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add it in here because I want to see how it looks when it's all together so let's go to our fonts and I already know that I want Samantha and I want the Samantha upright Okay. All right. So let me get this over here so I can start working on it. Okay, so let's come in here I need to highlight that S let's come down here and find the fancy S's so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you know do up your file like you want I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mess around here in the fonts and get it looking like I want it to and then I'll be back for the next step okay Okay, so I finally got it all figured out. Actually, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change this. So I'm going to come to Palette, click on the color, and uh, I'm going to change it to pink so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to bring it to about there. I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to pull it out. Okay, I need to make sure that I back it off the line, so keep it away from 
the edge there and away from the edge there just because of the difference in the, the mat sizes. Because you know, um, uh, the Scan and Cut does not recognize a, in a full 12 by 12. It's like 11.87 or something like that. Okay, so let's see if we can sneak in here and possibly make it a little bit thicker. Okay, I clicked Shadow Rounded and it did um, thicken up for me. And I like that and I'm going to keep it like that um, because sometimes Samantha can act um, a little difficult with our cutter, especially um, if you try using Samantha um, in her original size in some of the cardstock. You will have to really um, pay attention to your settings, especially your speed and your pressure. Um, I usually have to lower my pressure and lower my speed and give it time um, to turn and spend a lot of time uh, cutting that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, um, because I'm happy with this design just as it is, um, I may, when I get this cut out and get it laid on my truck, I may go in and maybe add some flowers. But right now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to flip this. Oops, wrong one. We're going to put the mat to um, vertical. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to flip that, and I want to flip that. Okay. Now we're going to work on getting these. Oh, what did I just do? Grab the wrong one. We're going to work on getting these all centered back up. but it's the two page thing that I really like so I don't really have to worry about um, centering them myself as to where they were Here. But as again, like I said, um, when I go to place these on my truck, I'm going to be doing it by eye anyhow, so I really don't need to worry about that. But I'm going to show you um, how to place um, uh, registration marks in case you one, two, in case you do need um, exact placement. Okay, so, oops. So now I have one heart, and this heart decided to just freak out and act crazy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to duplicate that heart again. Okay, so we're going to put one heart right beside of that one, and I need to just use this arrow and move it slightly out of the way okay but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna capture okay that word and that heart okay so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create page three because page two has disappeared okay so now I'm gonna come up here I'm going to grab that, send to layer page 3, OK. Click OK and wait forever because my scale's been kind of having some hiccups lately. OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to move it over here and we're going to see about and we're going to toggle back and forth. Now, do you see how they are exactly lined up? Okay, so that is my red. And if you want, you can take this and you can, you know, blow it all the way up to 500% to get them exactly the same to match. Um, but for me, that's perfect because, like with mine, I don't need to be perfect. But if you have to be dead spot on, blow that thing up and you can come up here and you can make sure <clears throat> that <clears throat> excuse me it is dead spot on okay there it is 
so you can mm, <coughs> move it over a little bit if you need to okay so right there right there so that's how you go about doing it it's really really simple so there's the heart you got that much of it <coughs> excuse me like that so works perfect alright so now let's shrink this back down to 17 percent <coughs> now let's do our export okay so let's export let's go to computer there's my stick uh, let me click on it let's come here and we'll put big dragon oops can't spell big dragonfly okay and then come to page two export change the name oops big if I could ever spell right I would be so amazed okay so that is how you go about doing all of that and just always remember that you need to have it um, going vertical if it's going horizontal the machine will not read it so you will not have any success doing that <clears throat> you might sit there for a little while scratching your head <clears throat> all right guys if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to look me up on scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook um, stay tuned for part two we'll go about cutting all this out layering it up and hopefully putting it on my truck weather permitting thanks